Hey guys, Ronnie Wiest, Sean Gregory, Purple Belt Extraordinaire, here from Delaware Combat Sports, Self Defense Academy in Swarm, Delaware. We're going to make a video today on a half guard sweep. Uh, some people know that I, I like half guard, I like half guard bottom. There's one half guard top position that I do have a tough time defending against, I think everybody does. It's when the guy on top half turns and faces reverse, he faces your feet. It gets heavy on your chest, you can't see what's going on, you can't defend, it's very difficult to prevent the guard pass. Uh, I've been playing with a technique lately that has really played out really, really well. Um, I have no problem showing it to people. It's just going to make people's jiu -jitsu better by learning it. Uh, take a look at it, let me know what you think. Um, picture here. Alright, so Sean's in top half. Okay, so we ended up here in a scramble, or somehow we ended up here, and I don't have time to grab any. He immediately goes this way. Like I said, this is uncomfortable. He's got all his weight on my chest. My hands are stuck. He can control this leg. He can, he can go to mount if he wants. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with this position, okay? It's, it's tough to defend, so go back up. So what we're gonna do is, as soon as I find myself in this position, I have to be hypersensitive and aware if he's trying to turn that way. As soon as he goes to turn that way, I'm gonna let him catch my arm underneath of him. Here, I want to stand down here. As I'm defending the guard path, I want to grab the pants on his knee. Now, one thing he can't do, he can't go to mount. Just try to go to mount. I can stop the mount. The next, the next part, the backhand, is going to grab inside his back knee. All right. So now I have this knee and this knee. Now I'm still fighting, but this is more of a strategy. He's trying to pass guard. He's trying to backstep this leg. What I'm going to do is, as he's trying to fight the pass. I casually get sloppy with his leg and in slow motion. As he kicks his leg back, watch what happens. He pulls my arm. He pulls me right over to a mount position. Okay? So one more time. So we're here. Maybe he beat me, he pushed, he's going over. I get my arm under. Here. Right to the knee. Back when he grabs the back knee. I'm fighting. He's fighting. He tries to go to mount. Can't get him out. He goes to back step. He pulls me, pulls me right over the mouth. Okay? So what's happening? You see there? I have this knee and I have this one back here. I can control this way. As I drop and he kicks, he pulls me right over. Because you gotta remember, they're kicking really hard and fast to get that back step. So if your hand's here, it's pulling you right across. Okay? So I've been playing with it for the past couple of weeks. Works really, really, really well. I'm not suggesting that you let somebody get in that position just to do it, but we've all been there. People like that reverse, top half. Grab the pan here, grab behind the pants. You can stop the mount, you can stop the three quarter mount. Let them pass, they'll pull you right over. Sometimes you'll end up the top half, sometimes you'll end up the mount. Either way, you're on top, it's still a sweep. All right, let me know what you think about it. Uh, again, Ronnie Weeds, Delaware Combat Sports here in Smyrna. Sean Gregory. That's, uh, that's the male version of Cheryl, by the way. All right, peace.